All right, welcome everyone. Jen O'Sullivan here, and I'm going to be teaching you about emotional health and how we might have been duped. So one of the things uh, I like to do is get on here and give you some really good educational um, resources and things that will help further your health in and wellness within your own life. So again, Jen O'Sullivan, naturopath, and I I'm giving you as much free content as possible for the next year, just trying to help you understand your body, healing, wellness, how to do things naturally, uh, that your body will respond better naturally with, with natural things. Uh, sometimes you think, well, no, my body does respond to these synthetics. This is true, but it's a, it's a masking of, of synthetics and those synthetics in and of themselves will eventually cause deeper problems down the road. So the more you're on medications and the more that you're relying on them, especially when it comes to emotional health, you get, um, you get kind of handcuffed to them. So you become beholden to them and it's their ruling you as opposed to the other way around. So I would like to have you have health freedom. I would like you to have control over your own body and control over what you can and can't do. But I'm going to be clear with you. Uh, I'm not somebody that really tiptoes around things. I will rip the bandaid off. I will tell you things that maybe you'll be a little annoyed with, <laughs> but I will, I will tell you like it is. And um, I won't mince words. And what I mean by that is I don't want you to go through life being duped. I want you to know better so you can do better so that you can be better. And that's part of the journey that we've been on for the past eight years is helping so many of you regain your health. So I want to talk about emotional health for a minute and just help you understand some of the potential pitfalls that we've been in. So many of our doctors, uh, whenever somebody's having emotional distress or having problems managing their emotions, they quickly go to medications. Now we want to remember, do not quickly go to medications because all that's doing is shining the poo. Okay, you're, you're, you're literally taking your issue, the thing that, um, is how ha you're having a problem with and not being able to get a handle on and you're taking something to mask or dull whatever emotion it is that you're having that you don't like. Um, and so that could be depression, anxiety, feelings of self-harm, right? There's a lot of potential things at play here. What kind of makes me a little annoyed is so many people, even in the, in the wellness sector, when it comes to like natural health, they say, yeah, you know, there could, there's a chemical imbalance. And so we have to be real careful and cautious about that because if somebody has a chemical imbalance, like we want to make sure that we're not just like, you know, just telling them to go off their meds. So first and foremost, I want to be clear with you. I'm not telling anybody to go off their medication. That would be um, not good. Anybody that is on medications that are for emotional health, you have to have to work with your doctor to step down off of them. But the key here is not you, you're never going to be able to go off of them. If you're, if you don't think of it as a systemic approach. So if you have a lemon tree and the thing is not producing lemons, well, you can't just staple on plastic lemons. I mean, from a distance, it will look okay but that's fake fruit, not doing anything. The tree should just be cut down. So we want to really consider why, right? Why is it not growing lemons? What's going on systemically? What's going on on the root cause? What is the root cause of the reason that this tree is not doing well? So it might have, um, you know, white fly on it. It might have some fungus going on it. If we look in the root system, there might be something eating it at the bottom. There might be not getting enough water, not enough nutrients. There might not even be enough soil, right? There's any number of things that could be going wrong with why a tree is, is sick or diseased. So if you look at yourself as a tree and you think, I don't have good skin, 
I don't, I'm itchy all the time. I have bad breath. My, um, you know, hair is falling out or I have brittle hair, brittle nails. I've got ridges in my nails. I've got all sorts of just problems with yeast, you know, candida overgrowth. I, I tend to get sick all the time, right? You've got these issues or what we're talking about tonight, which is emotional health. I just, I'm constantly emotional about everything and I'm depressed and I can't get out of bed or I'm anxious all the time or I'm having panic attacks, right? So there's all these emotional things that go on in our lives and we can blame them on things, right? We can definitely blame shift and I can say, well, it's because I lost my job or well, it's because my husband's a jerk or well, my dog is a psycho and I just can't, I mean, I'm just giving some silly examples, but some of those can be really real. Like, yeah, I'm depressed because I can't, I can't make a living and I can't seem to always, I can't, I can't ever make things right. Or, or, you know, your kids are going down the wrong path and you're blaming yourself and, you know, whatever it is. Okay. So there's so many different reasons for people to have mental distress in their brains and to just claim that it is a chemical imbalance is is an interesting approach because systemically the root cause of your chemical imbalance is not just that your body it just happens to be chemically imbalanced it's because of what you're doing to your soil right what food are you giving yourself what water are you giving yourself are you drinking enough water are you eating the right foods are you literally tanking your own system? We sit there and say, why, why is this forest fire not going out? You know, we watch, I live in California, there's forest fires all the time. What's going on here? You know, and we hear of like firefighters that started the fire because they're like so excited about fire. It's like, what in the world, right? What kind of crazy is that? But it happens all the time. So when you think about a forest fire, you don't try to put the forest fire out over here and then have you know if you saw a bunch of guys with gasoline like he 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 right and pulling gasoline we're making the forest fire bigger like that's so stupid what why would we we would be like get those guys out of here we're trying to get rid of the forest fire not make it bigger well that's what you're doing you're like i need this medication because my emotions are so janky i'm just a wreck but I still want my Krispy Kreme donuts and I still want all the coffee and I, because I need the energy, right? You start blame shifting and you, you start saying, I need it or I'm actually okay. I have people that say, I'm okay. I, I'm good. I could, I could, I could stop that anytime. Well then do it. Prove, prove us all wrong. Get rid of the processed food. Stop eating processed sugar. hundred percent. Your emotional health will actually balance out when you get rid of certain things in your diet, drink enough water, clean, clean water, not, not tap water, not water that has been depleted of minerals, right? You got to remineralize. There's certain things that you can do, right? There's certain, there's a lot of things, but a lot of times we're just not, well, yeah, just whatever. All I have time for, all I have energy for is McDonald's. And it's like, well, then you're always going to be sick. So there's things that you got to understand when it comes to your food sources and processed foods, anything that comes in a bag, it's like, so there's a cycle there then, right? So I'm with you, sister. There's a cycle of, I don't feel good. My emotions are tanked. I don't have the capacity to make healthy food. I just don't. I just need to pop something in the microwave and eat because I that's all I have time for. I just need to go through the drive-thru at Carl's Jr. or wherever. And I just need something, right? I, I get it. There's a battle. But if you get to a point where you say, you know what? I am done. There, there has to be a switch at some point that you have to say, I am done putting fuel to this forest fire. My body is on fire. My emotions are out of control. I want to have control. I want to have peace. I want to have clarity and peace of mind 
I want to know that the peace of God will transcend all understanding that I will be able to just know that I can trust in God, that the Lord will be it. Like I can have balance. Did you know that? That that's something that you can have. Hello, Dash. <laughs> so just know that it's one of those things where you have to make that decision. So what I'm going to encourage you all today to do is get some little post-it notes, just the little ones, or just get some piece of paper. And I want you to write on every single little piece of paper, do 20 of them, do 30 if you can. And um, the little sticky post-it notes are easier to do this, but do the small ones. Don't do big ones, just do small ones. And you're going to put on there, today I decide to be healthy. You're actually going to put that, today I decide to be healthy. Write that over and over again. Today, I decide to be healthy. Write that on every single one. And then I want you to post that everywhere. Put one on your bathroom shower, wherever you can put it. It's not going to get wet. So that when you're washing your hair, you're staring at it. Put it on your laundry, where you do, where you do the laundry. Stick it right wherever you're going to see it. Stick it wherever you go to the bathroom, right in front of you. I want you to stick it um, in your refrigerator. I want you to put it in your freezer and in your refrigerator. I want you to put it on your water spigot, wherever it is. I want you to put it anywhere on a light switch as you're walking into your bedroom where you're going to see it anywhere. Put them everywhere in your car, right on your wheel, like everywhere. I want to see you guys post pictures of where you're putting these on this thread tomorrow. I want to see them all on here. And here's why. You're going to think this is ridiculous. Your spouse might be like, what's wrong with you? Can you get all this stuff off? Like I'll do them in bright orange post-it notes everywhere. Because you need to get your brain to switch. And when you look at that, you might make a different decision. Today, I decide to be healthy. So I'm going to make a choice that's going to be for me, not against me. I'm not going to put fuel for you know fuel on my forest fire i'm gonna give it water clean water i'm gonna eat carrots instead of potato chips i'm gonna go ahead and stop eating sugar right you have to make some decisions in your life that are going to be better for you and the compound effect of that just one change so if i could tell you one thing some of you are like john there's just too many things i'm just too overwhelmed with even what you're talking about right now one thing processed sugar, just get rid of processed sugar. If you could just do that one thing, guess what? There's going to be a lot of things that are going to start working for you. Processed sugar, look through everything, try and find all the things that have processed sugar in it and just eliminate it all. Okay. And just do that. And you think, well, for how long? Forever. Okay. Maybe once a month, if you're at a party, you can have three bites of something. Three bites is all you need of anything sweet to placate that desire. But you need to then also get on minerals. I need you to get on an ionic mineral, something that's going to allow your body to not have these crazy weird cravings. So that might mean rubbing some mineral stuff. Like I've got you know ionic minerals that I rub on the bottom of my feet in the morning or I put them in a capsule, like super easy. There's all sorts of things you can do. You want to make sure you're on a really good source of vitamin D or get some sun. And if you're out, like right now, it's sunny out with California here. So I can go out and garden and I can lift the back of my shirt up so I can get some sun on my lower back. That's one of the best spots to get vitamin D. But there's so many different things that you can do, like making sure you have good healthy omegas, eating some avocados, some nuts, you know, maybe some fish if you have some good wild caught fish. Everybody's got a different view of what they want for different things, but get on a really good, good source of, of, um, basically omegas, right? You want some clean supplements if you're needing to supplement. So if you're curious about supplements, you're welcome to message me and I can tell you which ones I use. There's plenty out there, you guys. There's plenty of really good clean supplements on the market. So I just encourage you guys to consider the areas of mental change, of physical visual change that you can kind of see and tell yourself over and over again, but then you actually have to take some steps. So this doesn't mean that all of a sudden magically you're going to have a handle on your emotions, but we have to stop allowing 
the pharmaceutical industry to dictate to us what we should be doing for emotional health. And when we get off of this crazy cycle of utilizing pharmaceuticals only all the while, because we feel like that's the easy button, all the while just going ahead and eating all the things and doing all the things that are bad for us, you know, we, we got to at some point get off that merry-go-round. So are you ready to get off the merry-go-round? So if that's you and you're really ready to do this, pick something. And I could give you any number of things to pick, but that's why I always just say sugar. Sugar's a big one. But other than that, I'm going to give you some more tools and tips as we move forward. Uh, each week we get on here, I'm going to give you some more tools so you can invite your friends. This is free health education. I'm just talking about health education from a the foundational standpoint for the next year. I want to help you guys get back on track. I'm going to show you some fun tools of things that I don't sell that you can get on Amazon or whatever as we move forward. Just some different things to help with emotional health, with physical health, with spiritual health. Okay, there's so many elements when it comes to this. So I thank you. I appreciate all of you. Um, be blessed and we will see you on the next one. Okay, take care guys.